In this video, we're going to talk a bit about percentiles and quantiles, as well as quartiles. So percentiles and quantiles, while there's a, a slight subtle difference between the two, we can use them interchangeably for the most part. And then we'll talk a bit about quartiles, which are specific values of a percentile or a quantile. A quick reminder to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when we upload new videos. And we're going to focus on the concept and not the calculations. And that's for a few reasons. The first being that um, typically we're going to calculate these using a piece of software and we're not going to do it by hand. And the second reason is the software that I use, I use this statistical software R, it has nine different ways of calculating a percentile or quantile. So we don't want to get stuck on, you know, the technicalities of um, way one versus way two versus way three. We want to focus on the concept of what are they and what are they useful for. So in order to do this, I've got this example here looking at the grades for 13 students. I've kept the data set um, small and simple so that we can focus on the concepts. So here we've got the 13 grades, as well as I've placed them on a number line here for visualization. So let's start with a specific or a, a commonly looked at percentile or quantile, the 50th percentile. So this gets a special name, and this gets called the median. It is just the 50th percentile or quantile. Again, this has 50% of the ordered observations below it. It's looking at which value cuts the data in half. If we look at it here, the value of 77 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 below and 6 above. Okay, so this is the value that cuts the data set in half, 50% below, 50% above. Okay, so that's looking at this right here. Half of it below, half of it above. Now let's um, talk about another um, commonly looked at percentile or quantile, the 25th percentile. And this again gets its own special name. It gets called the first quartile, or abbreviated Q1. Okay, and what this is, well, it's the 25th percentile or the 25th quantile. And what that means is it has 25% or one quarter of observations below it. So the median is the value that cuts the data in half, half below, half above. The first quartile cuts it into a quarter, one quarter below and three quarters above. Okay, and while we said there's slightly different ways of calculating exactly what this value is, we can see it falls roughly in here. Right? This would cut one quarter below, three quarters above. And we'll not get stuck on the details of is it 67 or 64 or what value um, exactly in between, but it's falling roughly around here. Let's label this. This is Q1. This is the median. I forgot to label that earlier. Again, another important percentile, right, or quantile, is the 75th percentile. Again, this gets its own special name. It gets called the third quartile, the third quarter. So again, abbreviated Q3. And this here is the 75th percentile or the 75th quantile. And this has 75% or three quarters of observations below it. And again, without getting stuck on the exact number, looks like it's roughly around here, right? cutting it to have three quarters below, one quarter above. So it's kind of in the range about there. So this is the third quartile, right? or the 75th percentile or 75th quantile. Some other important, uh, I guess, points to mention are the minimum value as well as the maximum, right? or the zero and the hundredth percentile. Now something encountered in a separate video, but worth mentioning here is that the box plot is actually a, a visualization, a graphical visualization of the median, first quartile, third quartile, minimum, and max. So it draws a box on these and a line extending to those. Now quartiles are commonly used percentiles or quantiles as they divide the data into four equally sized quarters and they're a common description you see, but really you can report any value of percentile or quantile. So just as an example, the 90th percentile, this gives us the value that 
90% of observations are below. Again, the 40th percentile, which value are 40% of observations less than. Okay, so the first quartile and third quartile are the 25th and 75th percentile. Those ones are often reported as they're kind of nice um, percentiles to look at, but really we can report any percentile we want. It's also important to note that right now our discussion has been on defining a percentile, say the 75th percentile, and finding out which value that corresponds to. We can also look at it the other direction. We might take an observed value, say something like this here, right, the 82, and try and decide what percentile is that value. Okay, in other words, if I told you there's someone scored a grade of 82, it's really hard to know is that a high grade or a low grade, right? You need to know what was the average. You also need to know how spread out are things, right? If I tell you someone scored a grade of 82, and grades range somewhere between 50% up to 100%, with an average, say, of 80. The grade of 82 is fairly average, right? It's slightly above the mean of 80. If I were to tell you there's a difference class, right? They also had a mean of 80, but the lowest grade, say, was 75, the highest grade was 83. That's actually a really high grade, right? You're up at the, the top end of the range. So suppose I tell you that grade of 82% fell in the, I don't know, 80th percentile, right? Now you know that that grade is higher than 80% of the class. Okay, so again, you can take observations and find out what percentile they fall into. So as we noted through this video, in a real world, you're probably never gonna calculate any of these by hand, and you're gonna use a piece of software to do that. But it's important to know what a quantile or percentile is, um, and what they're useful for. One final thing to close on, Apart from quartiles, sometimes you'll hear reported um, tertiles. These break the data into the lowest third, middle third, upper third, upper third. or quintiles, right, break into five groups, or sometimes deciles, break into 10 equally sized groups. So and break into quarters is a common one to look at, but you might hear of other ones. Statistics is almost as yummy as chocolate. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos. Stick around guys, cause we got lots more.